In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord is found recorded in the book of the prophet Isaiah, the 49th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Listen to me, O coastlands, and give attention, you peoples from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother he named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword, in the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made me a polished arrow, in his quiver he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord, and my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, He who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the preserved of Israel. I will make you as a light for the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nation, the servant of rulers. Kings shall see and arise, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves, because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord is found recorded in the Lord's Revelation to St. John, the 21st chapter, beginning at the 22nd verse. And I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need for sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light, and its lamp is the Lamb. By its light will the nations walk, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it, and its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. They will bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations, but nothing unclean will ever enter it, nor anyone who does what is detestable or false, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel is found recorded in the Gospel of St. Matthew, the twelfth chapter, beginning with the fourteenth verse. But the Pharisees went out and conspired against Jesus how to destroy him. Jesus, aware of this, withdrew from there, and many followed him, and he healed them all, and ordered them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved, with whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not quarrel or cry aloud, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory. And in the name of the Gentiles, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A devotion taken from writings of the early church fathers based on the Old Testament lesson for today, first from Cyril of Alexandria. He calls to the islands, which we take to be the churches of Christ, just as they are lying in the sea or the waves of this present existence and surrounded by the insulting attacks of the waves, or the persecutions and afflictions that the enemies of the truth inflict on the churches as they war against the divine call. Concerning these islands, the divinely inspired scripture often speaks. There the blessing the blessed David sang a psalm and said, 
The Lord reigns, and let the earth be glad, and many islands rejoice. So in Christ, t taking all things in his hands, reigned over it from heaven, and ejected the demon's tyranny. Then did they rejoice, that is, the churches over all the earth were filled with happiness. Isaiah promised that our Savior Jesus Christ would be revealed to everyone, and that God, as the Word, would come on the earth among them in a form after our likeness. That this is so, the person of the Savior himself attests. Out of my mother's womb he called my name. Mixed into these words is a deep and great mystery that requires mystical understanding from above. For he was and is God the Word, equal and sharing the throne with God the Father, coexisting and co-eternal, and from Cyril of Jerusalem. Consider how he who was not yet born could have a people, unless he were in being before he was born. The prophet says this in his person, From my mother's womb he gave me my name, because the angel foretold that he would be called Jesus. Again concerning the plots of Herod, he said, He concealed me in the shadow of his arm. We confess together our common and saving faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.